still Kyo recon helicopters brought in to try and spot the stuff for the Cobras. Are they the same team? Yep, so coordination shouldn't be too difficult. As where this attack has been completely turned on its head. Conquerors have taken quite a few hits. There's only a few of them left, but then again, they're okay. Cobras come in, but the Motostroke and the PKTs and all that to finish these Cobras off. It was a pretty stupid moving by NATO there. Elsewhere, ATMs have also brought in a PT-71 recon. MI-9 needed to repair, so I brought this in to provide the recon while it was repairing. It's also got a nice ATM. Elsewhere here, the, now these guys were a bit, bit, bit of a worry because they've got an ATM and a machine gun. Um, for some reason, this helicopter was refusing to supply. I wanted it to get some missiles to finish these guys off nice and quick. But unfortunately, it decided it would be better just to hover and use rocket pods. So, mortar teams brought in. Then they deliver barrage of fire to knock out these last units. These last anti aircraft artillery units. That's where these Lynx tank destroyers are being finished off quite quickly by close quarters artillery fire. I back off my MI-24 because I decide it's not worth it. The machine guns could still do some damage. So I bring some ally, bring in some motor stroke and some anti-aircraft teams as you do. As so we're here, these guys really are out of the picture. That command vehicle's still up there, don't know what it's doing. Um, another lone attack by Leopard 1A1. Not gonna do that much really. On the face of it. Trying to tell him to put the motor stroke in the woods. And with that, LGT 105. No, 6015. My apologies. Surrenders, leaving me in control of all this artillery that's about to die. I'm trying to tell uh, Jaguar Kill to get the motor stroke in the woods to ambush these guys before they can take out, say, the command vehicle or any of this stuff. Most of my stuff's infantry based at this point just because it's more cost effective when you're desperate. Elsewhere, not much is happening. At this point I think NATO started take stop taking things seriously so I'm just going to speed things up to times three speed. So BMPs are brought in or BMPs I Unfortunately, they're dealt with almost instantly. I was con I was looking at something else at the time, so these guys finished them off. Although one did get a good rocket on them. Let's see, elsewhere. Oh, another attack here. Bradley, an ATGM Dragoon Infantry. Again, we don't actually have anything really that for that infantry to target. Uh, this four motor strike, he will stop it in its tracks. My motor stroke, on the other hand, is finishing off the Rakuten Gag Panzer. Two. Unfortunately, I, I was too busy concentrating on other things, and basically what happens is I knock it down to one health, but then I think I've killed it. Elsewhere, this artillery has been hounded by tanks. This Cobra's been brought in. And some Jaeger infantry are brought in to ambush the artillery. I'm trying to get it out of there, but as you can see, the infantry have surrounded it. That's where some supply helicopters brought in for this stuff in the woods, with artillery raining down. Jaeger kill tries to push up some motor strike to take it out. Unfortunately, they're routed by the artillery. I bring in my uh, my last conquerors to hold the line. At this point, we're actually quite close, look, 2400 to 2400, there's actually only 5 points in it, despite how stupid my team has been, we've managed to hold, you know, get a fairly decent kill to casualty ratio. A bunch of self-propelled artillery is brought in here, and with that, I'm on my own. So now I'm in control of everything, 
try and bring some conquerors to see if Gulf could be resecured up here. This command vehicle seems to have died. Uh, let's see. Anything else going on? Cobra, Spetsnaz, take it out. Quite nice. Elsewhere, I bring my motor stroke either were in the woods to uh, try and see what's going on here. Unfortunately, mortars and some artillery fires doing some damage here. And again, my, I'm repairing my MI-24. Gotta keep looking nice. So now they're launching a massive assault. There's only two command vehicles left, and this one is defended by a swarm of BTRs. Basically, I took all the BTRs that were scattered about the place and brought them into protection from infantry. Some scorpions are brought in. I bring my MI-249 to shoot it off. Also a Lynx tank destroyer. Another swarm of gazelles, another swarm of wreckage, thanks to the Tunguska. A-Rounds tanks brought in, quite nasty when you th on the whole. And ATKM Milan infantry. So, MI-24 is fine on the ATKM Milan with the BTRs, providing some more machine gun fire. I mean, yes, they've got, you know, their AT game is quite powerful, but against this kind of stuff, also I think they were firing at something else, so they are quickly dispatched by the BTRs. Elsewhere, swarms of riflemen are just engulfing the BTRs. However, there's just so many BTRs, they can't handle it. You know, I mean, look at that, there's like, well, there's a lot of them, let's just say. Elsewhere, this command vehicle seems to have died. Spetsnaz are still alive, though. MI-24 is repairing again, it's taking quite a few hits. Unfortunately, Apaches are now being brought in. Tunguska will still be able to fire on them. Yep, it's damaged both of them. And killed one of them, actually. Rakuten and Jagdpanzer brought into the fire on the Tunguska. Took me completely by surprise, and they kill each other, actually. Unfortunately, that means I don't have any more anti-aircraft defense. I bring in my math. last motor stroke, finish off the rifleman, I retreated my command vehicle just to keep it alive, because it's my last one, if it dies, game over. And my 24 finishes off a gazelle recon, and a pattern tank looks like. Yep, so it's rocket pods and AGM. So now, I, let's see, I've got my 24 still alive, command vehicles hiding, Motor Strokey, Spetsnaz. I'm going to speed this up even further. So MI-24 is trying to resupply. Resupply. Unfortunately, the Apache comes in and fires a Hellfire missile straight into its flank while it's on the ground. So, at this point, it's pretty much a game of hide-and-seek. The game's over. 3,698 NATO, 3,603 to pact. Very, very close game, despite the lunacy of my teammates. Uh, let's see, Motor Strokey trying to advance to try and take out the command vehicle. Unfortunately, it gets hammered on by a swarm of gazelles. Takes down one, looks like two maybe, three possibly. At this point, I guess say, okay, game over. I, I think one of them had to go to bed or something. It work in the morning, so I drive my command vehicle willingly into the arms of the rifleman. Game over. So, defeat for Pact, minor victory for NATO, kill the casualty, it's fairly balanced for me, Gildjur, and LGT. Jagger kill got a massive deficit, but really, it doesn't really matter, but they kill the casualties at the end, you saw what they did. These guys were pretty poor on the whole. NATO did quite well, I have to say. I mean, you know, quite well, well... They say quite well because they won and secured the entire battlefield, but then when you think about it, they only secured, secured like a 300 point win over our team when we were doing that. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, overall, good kill to casualty ratio. And yeah, so this has been Omnigent. Thank you for watching and goodbye.